Welcome to this recap with a lot of good information for you guys. This is going to be a lot of compressed information, all with the state of play from PlayStation that just happened on May 30th. And all the info you got here are about amazing games. Um, some good stuff in here. Absolutely should get excited. And we're going to jump right in right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Concord. And this game, as you guys probably know, it's made by Bungie. Bungie, as we know, made Destiny. And that has been a spectacular game. This new game is very interesting. Before we get into the details, I want to just give you the, the facts so far. It's coming out on the PlayStation 5 and PC on August 23rd. That is awesome. There is going to be a beta in July, so make sure you look into that on the website. Probably have all that information on the description, so check it out. This is a very interesting game because they showed somewhat like a story, and I'm going to talk about what I thought, but what it was. It's a five-on-five -five character driven first person multiplayer hero shooter. That's a lot of words. It is set in the Concord Galaxy. So I'm assuming you're gonna have some story stuff and so much more. I still need to learn a lot more of how this is all gonna play out. But from what they said, it's basically you're gonna play as one of the crew members from the North Star, and you're basically a gun for hire, and you're gonna be out there known as a free runner. It's a very tight, well-balanced FPS game featuring cinematic aspects weekly. And that's super interesting because I don't think we've seen a game do that concept where the stories will continue to unfold while you're playing PvP. But I do think it's going to be special because if you know Destiny, we love the single-player aspect or co-op aspect and the raids. But the PvP is actually really good in Destiny. Personally, I always have fun. And I actually do think that this could be something special. And we're going to take a second and just to talk about this whole show while I showcase some of the actual official gameplay that they put out there within this actual run. You can see it kind of feels like Destiny. It has some of the mechanics and similarities of it. So if you love Destiny, I think you'll fit right in with this. It's going to be a little more stylish, a little more colorful in different ways. And I actually like that about the game. And I'm not sure what you guys are opinion is as far as visuals, but that's very popping for me, eye popping type of visuals and cinematics. And if it's PVP like this and you got very interesting combat that we've seen some of it, but this is a lot of unique elements as well. And they talked about some things like being able to place items to help your team and kind of coordinate together. So I'm curious how this mode will play out. I'm sure they're going to have like a deeper dive into the gameplay and break it down into detail sometime in the near future. Um, probably soon when you're watching this, it'll be June. And I believe before July, their beta, they'll have a lot more information because it's literally around the corner when this game's coming out spectacular stuff speaking of that we'll do a breakdown when the time comes but i want to move on and give you guys a good look at the one and the only you're right you're looking at it god of war ragnarok i'm gonna make a video about this and i'm gonna make this one quick first and foremost god of war ragnarok is so spectacular it made me say something i didn't believe and i'm gonna have a full video breaking it down but i didn't have God of War as one of the greatest series of all time until 2018 and Ragnarok has convinced me that this is definitely one of the greatest series. You can go back and play the older games and probably get 2018's God of War for pretty cheap right now. Play that. And then when this comes out, you'll be able to have yourself some fun and enjoy this experience because Guess what? This is coming out in September 19th this year on the PC. It's going to have unlocked frame rates, true 4K resolution, full integration with the NVIDIA and so on, the ultra wide support. And it also has the Valhalla DLC. If you don't know what that is. It's a roguelike game. I absolutely love it. And I had a good time with it. So I honestly recommend this, but I'd rather you watch my full video 
breaking this down into detail so that you can see for yourself. And we're going to skim through some of these games. I'm not sure if you're interested. I actually only played Dynasty Warriors a few different games here and there. And I think it's fun. But this one just has something special to it. I don't know if it's just the trailer that got me a little bit like, hey, this could be a good time. Get in there and just go crazy with all the cool combat and the giant battlefield. And we know this series has been here for a long time. So they've mastered a lot of what you can get. And that comes out next year, as you can see on a PlayStation 5. So that is super cool. One versus a thousand players, which is awesome. We're going to skip through Infinity Nikki. Uh, it's a very cute game. It's not for me. I won't cover it on this channel, but you can check it out for yourself. I'm sure some of you might like that. Feel free. Enjoy and have fun. And now I want to talk about this beauty right here. Um, this one was like, hey, what is this game? And this is the Ballad of Ogden. And it's actually pretty visually interesting. And I honestly don't know much, but we're going to read through what the details are that I got from the information. It's coming out next year on the 2025 on the PlayStation 5. It's a action RPG, as you can see. It's high fidelity, as you can see. It's going to be free to play. The experience is an adventure through exotic landscapes, multiple play through playable characters, single player narrative, or co-op up to three players. And if you guys know, I've been loving these co-op games and uh, my buddy Cloudy Chip and me might jump on, but this could be an interesting one, something new, something different. It has a lot of very good mystique to it. And personally, I love that kind of game. And I think it could be fun. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And we're going to jump through some of these VR games. I personally don't own a VR 2 yet. If you guys want to get me one, go ahead. Um, they have Behemoth, which looks interesting. And then they have the Alien Rogue, which could be super cool. Uh, we'll see about that. But now I want to talk about a game I did make videos about. I actually wanted to do a whole channel. I got excited about this beta. Guess what? Marvel Rivals. It's officially coming to the PlayStation 5 and PC. And man, oh man, it is looking so good. They, they said they're going to do a beta soon. They're going to be giving people access to it. There's some exclusive content for the PlayStation, like the Scarlet Spider costume. It's a six-on-six -six hero team-based PvP shooter. If you're watching and you watch my channel, you'll know I covered it. There's a, a beta in July, so I suggest you sign up ASAP. I'm going to be in there. Definitely stream it if they allow it and have some fun with it as well. And personally, this is one that I'm very excited for this year. A lot of cool shooters coming out, in my opinion, uh, so far. But speaking of that, this is one of those games that I honestly didn't know anything about, and it's still mysterious. I might have had my hands on this one a little bit. That's all I can say right now. But I absolutely love every trailer that they put out as well. And the combat, the systems are very interesting. And the story can get really, really cool, in my opinion. But mostly the combat. If you guys know me, I love martial arts. And this is an incredible open world. I'm talking about so much death in this open world. It's been... I can't say exactly, but your your his features are warrior from eight in China, Asian China with supernatural martial arts abilities. There's mystical powers, you know, you're running off cliffs and on the surface of water. I mean, like this game just it's ridiculous. Okay. Well, put it on your wish list. You should be good enjoying yourself. And another thing people watch me play this until dawn. I did it with the community. It's a fun game to play. It's coming for the PlayStation 5 and PC on autumn this year. So just a quick look. And by the way, this video is going to be longer than I thought. We're going to skip through some of these and start getting into the nitty gritty of the meat and bones. Guess what this game is, guys? What are you looking at? Take a good look. 
And as we know, Silent Hill is one of the greatest horror games in the history of video games. In my opinion, there's Resident Evil and Silent Hill. And Silent Hill 2, to me, will be spectacular. Um, everything you're seeing visually looks incredible. And some of the gameplay, actually. So they're confident enough to show gameplay already. And this game is coming out on October 8th. Okay, so take a look at that. Lock in. And we're going to be going crazy with it. Guess what? Coming out for PC and PlayStation 5. There's ray tracing, other cutting edge enhancements. There's amazing sound. Of course, the environment is expanded. You can explore new buildings, locations um, that weren't accessible in the original. Um, familiar weapons like the pipes are returning, but an upgraded combat system. Personally, I think this can be one of those game of the year type of games. I don't know what to say as far as the rest of horror games this year, but this one right here is hitting on all cylinders. And I wanted to take a moment to kind of just showcase another big banger. I haven't got into this series. I played it a little bit. I thought it was amazing, but to be honest, everything I've watched about monster hunter wilds it's just better it's just better than every one i've seen i've watched trailers for each of the monster hunters as they release in recent years and i just feel like visually they've done like look at this how interesting this is already you know i feel like i'm playing a really good game right there just from that sequence alone in my opinion. And I mean, I don't want to offend any Monster Hunter guys. This game isn't out, so I don't know if it's any good. But what they're saying is fully voiced conversations this time. You're going to have extreme weather conditions, and you're going to have to uh, find a way to survive that. Unbelievable ecosystem. Monsters. Riding on new mounts. 15 epic weapon types. And this is coming out next year on 2025 on the PlayStation 5. The thing is, guys, I don't know if it's coming out on PC and Xbox. The one thing about these, these publishers, they always present their games like if it's coming out on one console, but you got to look into that. And so this game, to me, is going to be one of those very awesome games for those who love the series. And maybe new people like myself will get deeper into it. I played it a few times with a couple friends, but it didn't go down the rabbit hole to get lost in it. So... This time around, personally, it looks like it could be a good time to kick it and maybe just hang out with friends and, and enjoy it that way. So look out for that. And last but not least, and it's funny for those that are PlayStation people, you might know this series. It's called Astrobot. And to be honest with you, my nephew and me had to play the first one. I really wasn't interested in this, but when I played it, I'm like, damn, this is so well put together. You know, you think of a kid game, and, and I'm a little bit older, so I'm not really like, hey, I'm not that interested. But I'm open-minded to try it. And I did, and I enjoyed it very much. And I believe that this is one of the most well-put-together games, the original. And it was a sleeper. And so this one, just the highlights alone, they're kind of flexing their muscle when you watch this. You'll see like, okay, this could be very exciting, very interesting, very cool creative combat gameplay you know just little fights and bosses and things that you can do that are spectacular and a good time personally and i do believe this game will succeed in being great and that's just my opinion but i absolutely i mean absolutely love everything here just curious about what you guys think. And this game is coming out on September 6th. Okay, a lot of bangers in September 6th already from PlayStation. Uh, this is the biggest game from their studio is what they said. Six galaxies, over 80 levels. And they have everything from luscious forests, beaches, volcanoes, surprising locations, 15 new abilities, haptic feedback in the controllers, 70 plus enemies. Like, dude, hey, man. They flexing, they flexing. Now, I want to take a moment to kind of just be real outside of giving you all the information and just go backwards and talk about my opinion and how I feel from what I've seen so far 
first and foremost, just to go down the list, things that I'm interested in, Concord is the five on five mode that we're watching right now. To me, from Bungie working with PlayStation, they got a bigger budget. They're going to focus on making a PVP game for five on five. You guys know me. I like shooters a lot. This could be a good time. Uh, the gameplay was really nice and well put together. So I am invested and I absolutely cannot wait to see what Bungie can do. After they did the, the you know, Destiny for literally 10 years now or something like that, over 10 years, and it's time, you know, for something new. So hopefully it's good and Destiny fans like myself might get excited for something different. So super exciting, very cool. Now I want to talk about the God of War very quickly. First of all, just play the game, buy them all. Buy the original series, play through it, get to 2018, beat that, and then come and buy this on the PC. It's not going to cost you much to get the rest of the games, but this one right here, it's going to be new. I'm not sure the price, but we're looking at a September 19th. Personally, that's a banger. Okay. So I can't wait. The Dynasty Warriors, I will say this. It looks fun. It looks fun. Okay. But for me... The one and the only is definitely going to be my favorite Marvel's rivals. Y'all know me. I, I love these style of games, shooters, and this could be fun. The hero games. I don't know. I'm getting deeper into hero games, so you do what it do. And speaking of that, looking at some cool Wu, where wins me. Did I call this Wu Long earlier? In this video, if you're watching this, you can clown me in the chat. Where wins me is the name. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Wu Long, but so much more uh, dramatic and and just you, when you see the whole game, the open world, you'll be like, "Wow, this game is special." Uh, I do have a video I want to make about this. I've been waiting to put it out uh, when I get a chance to really dive in. That is super cool. The Silent Hill game, another game that I think you should look out for, spectacular. So those are the games. It's been a great one for me. I give this a solid B slash A, some really spectacular stuff. PlayStation got way more in the bag that they're hiding away. And we'll get that information in the future from their studios. But it's been fun. Kind of check out what they're doing and what they got going on right now. Hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I have. But go ahead in the chat and just tell me which game you like most. If you watch this whole thing, you're a real one. And go ahead and watch the next video because I'm going to break down certain games in here like the God.